By the mid-1870s, there were a shortage of short-distance goods and pilot locomotives on the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. As a result, a series of 060 tank engines were built at Brighton Works to the design of William Stroudley, and were given names after places from far across Europe, spanning from Britain to Hungary. The first six locomotives of this useful and long-lived class were built at Brighton, and appeared in traffic between 1874 and 1875. They performed well, and further orders were placed at regular intervals until the end of 1891, when the class consisted of 80 locomotives and were used throughout the LB and SCR system, primarily for goods and shunting, but occasionally for secondary passenger duties. In 1884, Stradley also built one example of the class, number 157 Barcelona, with a larger boiler and Gladstone-type cylinders with valves underneath to work the steeply graded lines between Eastbourne and Tunbridge Wells. This special E-type tank, was withdrawn in 1922. Between 1894 to 1895, the class gradually began to be replaced by Billington's radial tanks of the E3 and E4 classes. Withdrawals commenced in 1908 when one locomotive was broken up for spares and others were withdrawn at intervals until 1914, when the increased need for locomotives during the First World War meant that there were no further withdrawals. One locomotive, number 89, was rebuilt with a larger boiler similar to the D1X by Marsh in 1911, and reclassified E1X. It was also fitted with new side tanks, a new boiler, and a new cab. It was renumbered 89A and subsequently 689 in 1912. The frames were utilised with a second-hand boiler with various parts from the previously withdrawn locomotives to rebuild it as an E-type engine again. Under Southern Railway ownership, withdrawals continued during the 1920s, with some examples sold to industrial railways rather than scraps. Some examples were also rebuilt as 062 radial tanks for the use in the west of England by Maunsell in 1927 to 1929. These were classified E1-Rs. Four E1s were also transferred for duties on the Isle of Wight. Three were shipped from Southampton in 1932 and the fourth the following year. Before transfer, they were overhauled at Eastleigh Works, painted green, renumbered W1 through W4, and given names related to the island. They were fitted with LSWR, Drummond-type chimneys, and Westinghouse brakes. Number 136, originally Brindisi, became W1 Medina. Number 152, originally Hungary, became W2 Yarmouth. Number 154, originally Madrid, became W3 Ride and number 131, originally Gournay, became W4 Roxall. Engines W1 through W3 were allocated to Newport, and W4 was allocated to Ride. They were primarily intended for goods traffic, but were used on passenger trains when necessary. At speed, they were unsteady, but W4 was successfully rebalanced at Ride Works in 1933, and the others were modified similarly during 1935 to 1936. 30 examples would survive the transfer of ownership to the southern region of British Railways in 1948, but during the 1950s they were gradually replaced by diesel shunters. The last survivor, BR32694, was allocated to Southampton Docks. It was withdrawn in 1961 and scrapped at Eastleigh Works later that year. The four on the Isle of Wight were goods trains until the route's closure in the 1950s brought reduction in their duties. When repairs became due, they were withdrawn from service instead of being overhauled. W2 was withdrawn in 1956, W1 in 1957, W3 in 1959, and W4 in 1960. However, 1E1 does still exist. Number 32110, formerly called Burgundy, now assumes the identity of W2 Yarmouth as of 2021.